Regina. Hi. Can, can you tell me what Stephanus we're on? Where 132B. I left? 132B. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, no, no problem. We just don't usually sit close together. I don't know. Well, I'm like wondering why we're so close to connecting. Well, we're fine. <coughs> okay. Dead ready? What is this? Well, this is maybe yours, Janice. Maybe. Uh, no, was that yours? Something fell to the ground. I think it's oh, Jeff. Jeff? Okay. Two okay. <clears throat> okay, this is the shift. <clears throat> and we'll need, I think, a couple of people to read along this dialogue and mark every place you have a question, and then we'll go back to it in a short while. <coughs> All right? Everybody together? Here's Brad, so we'll wait, right? Yeah. He needs a cup of coffee. Hi. Hi. Which which Stephanus are we on? One thirty five. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, one thirty two B. <coughs> okay, look here. There's an interesting shift, right? Before he was willing, Socrates was willing to say that in the realm of ideas, each one of them, each one of them is divine. Justice, beauty, 
goodness. And he goes further and says, by the way, <clears throat> there is very good reason, which he gives, to assume something which we find curious, but nonetheless we went along with it, that each of these is a state of mind. Agree? Mm -hmm. yeah. Each one of them is a state of mind. <clears throat> you think it's time to ask Brad whether or not the self is a state of mind? Yes. Okay. Uh, my colleague. Yes and no. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Actually. All right. Look here. That allows him to say that these are all states of mind so that you can say to each one of them they're connected to self which is a state of mind and then he makes that wonderful addition by saying there's also something else going on and that this idea of usia turning upon itself, the dynamic. Each of these is a dynamic because it can reflect on itself. And that is Usuya. So now, Socrates got in all kinds of difficulties and finally he says, you know what, I'm going to change my mind and escape all the contradictions I experience. I'm going to change my mind and tell you what I think. I'm going to shift ideas or concepts. That means to say what we mean by an idea. He said they're in the soul. Ah, so look. These are concepts. They're only concepts in the soul, that's all. Forget all of this. So let's see what happens. Okay, let's get a couple of readers and proceed. Who'd like to read? I'll read. All right, one. Good, thank you. Belinda, thank you. Go ahead. Which one you want to read? What? I'm not into today. <laughs> well, pass the buck to who? Oh, I don't know. Josh, I All right, Brad, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll read. Oh, yeah, you're at the camera. I forgot. 132B? Yeah. Um, it says at number six. Then, O oh Socrates, each one of these ideas is nothing more than a conception. Oh, yeah. Got it? Okay, we're slow. Then, O Parmenides, each one of these ideas is nothing more than a concept and will not subsist in any place other than in the proper soul itself. For in this manner, each will indeed be one. Where does he, where does he put the self? Proper self? In the soul. In the soul, right? So, look here. Hey, self is in the soul, along with the concepts. Okay, go ahead. Can you read from this? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> will not subsist in any place other than in the proper self and souls. For in this way, each will indeed be one, and that which was just now mentioned will not still happen. See, if we can escape it. 
Right? What then? Good, do it again. What then? Is each one of these intellections or conceptions one? Whereas on the other hand it is an intellectual conception, intellection or conception of nothing? But this is impossible. Hence, it is an intellection of a certain something. Yes. Of being or of non-being? Um, of being. Will it not be of one certain entity which that intellection intellects in every case as being one certain idea? Yeah. Because look here, you must use as far as he's concerned, there's an intellect in here. I mean, what's it doing? Intellecting intellections. Right, it's intellecting. It's intellecting these very ideas. Okay, go ahead. Uh, which, which, which is okay. Which you being. can add to it. Being. I was saying it's being, yeah. and, and this is the realm also idea. of being with a capital B. Mm -hmm. And they are the ideas. Right. Okay. Uh, then will not this idea that is being intellected be one by always being the self in every case? That's why, hey, mm -hmm. since it is, each one is connected with self, he concludes from that that each one of these must equally be connected with the idea of self, mm -hmm. therefore? Therefore they are one. They're one in yeah. respect to, since you can find in each one of these self, 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 then mm -hmm. you can say the idea of self is one. Right, that is dispersed among the many ideas mm -hmm. that are conceptions in the soul, right? Mm -hmm. Good, keep going. Okay. Um, this again has come to light as necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think of that? It's an interesting response. Mm -hmm. But what then? Or do you want to go? No, no. Anything there? Okay, we stop there for a minute. Agree? This, when I say, do you agree? That means, are you following each of the words in this dialogue? And you can see that the connections between question and answer fit. Mm. I'm not asking you whether you believe it. I'm asking whether you follow the logic of it. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay, yes? Socrates certainly thinks so. Mm. Uh, Socrates definitely is on the same page. Good, okay, then that will give us the right to go move, further. Move on. Go ahead. But what then? Or does it appear necessary for thee to say that inasmuch as other things participate of the ideas, each one of them must be composed of thoughts or intellections and that all of them in turn must be able to intellect, think. Hey, must that follow? Um, See, if all of these are thoughts, well then, as a consequence that they're intellected, you're able to intellect them and see them for what they are, mm -hmm. we, can, we can now say that each one is composed of intellections and all of them in turn. The ideas are composed of intellections and all of them must be able to intellect. Yes, intellect, they're all composed of intellect and Sense. intellecting, therefore yeah. they're doing something they're which is called something. thinking. Thinking. Right? Now, don't use the language that you would use here. You're following the language of Socrates over here. Mm -hmm. Right? So if it's intellecting, we would use a common word and say thinking, because it's a concept, right? Good? Okay. All right? So okay. therefore, each one of those ideas thinks. That's what they are. They're thoughts. What do thoughts do? Ever have a thought that didn't think? <laughs> no.
Oh, okay. No, no, no. You have to answer the question. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, thoughts think. Ah, but good. I, good. You said something, and I, can't, I wanted you to repeat it. Uh, you said that each of those thing, each of those are intellects. No, you didn't say they're intellects. They are intellecting. You intellect them. That's how you get to know them. Okay. Do By each intellecting. Of, are each of the thought each of those okay? Then that's where I uh, okay. I misunderstood that. I thought you said each of those little thought. Okay. No. I'm intellecting each of those things. Okay. Okay. Fair. Mm, not clear on that. Okay. With it. Sound. Mm. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Or will you also, or will thou say that although by being, although it being intellected, yet they are without uh, mind, or the, uh, without thought? Yeah, without right? thought. It should right. be without thought. To keep thought. consistently. Yeah, yeah, to keep the same consistent. thing. Um, we could go with intelligence. <coughs> but this. <coughs> This, but this has to be in no way rational. But, O oh Parmenides, it seems to me indeed to be, to be clearly seen especially as follows. On the one hand, these ideas, species, are set up in their very nature, just as paradigms or models. Whereas on the other hand, the others are assimilated to these models and are their likenesses. And the self, participation, by other things is nothing else than to become assimilated to the cells of the ideas and species. Okay, look, um, I, I have a problem hearing, so just repeat it. Go slow. <clears throat> but, this has, but this has to be in no way rational. But, O Parmenides, it seems to me indeed be clearly seen especially as follows. On the one hand, these ideas are set up in their very nature just as paradigms, whereas on the other hand, the others are assimilated to these models and are their likenesses. And the self-participation by other things is nothing else than to become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. Okay. All I want to know is, what did he just say? <laughs> Come on. There are several points, right? Where does he start his position? Right. Okay. Where does it end? Does he introduce another idea on top of that? Yes. Do you see the way he bridges it? Do you see the consequences that follow from it? So take a moment out. Right. Now, what is he doing? He's taking this out. Look here. He's taking one of these out. Let's do it. And he's talking about it. All right. So what is he saying? He's saying that the paradigms or models these are models for other ideas. They're primary models or paradigms, right? These are models for things. Right? That's They're the not merely an first intellection. Place. They're not merely an intellection, right? They That's right. Rather, they are, there's a differentiation. They are models. They're models. So he's raising, right? He's making a further distinction in these ideas. Mm -hmm. First point. Second, go ahead. Uh, and the others are assimilated to these models. Okay. Then, hey, he's saying that these others are assimilated to it. Therefore, he has two classes of ideas, doesn't he? Or conceptions. Oh, models yeah. and those that participate in them. Agree? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So look. Well, 
So you're, you're taking the others as meaning the other ideas. Is yes. that? Mm. Okay. Mm. Right. That's one reading. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, I, but it's also in nature, set up in nature, so yeah. yet he's yeah. removed it yeah. from the... It's not here. Well, is it's it... It's in nature. Is he also taking it out of the soul? No. So for him, that's just where these stuff are. If he took them out, where would he put them? He said it was, well... What, set up in their very nature. Set up in their nature. Oh, in their very nature? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that was it. set up in nature. I thought it was well, the nature. Okay. I think it is set up in the nature, but it can be translated in their nature, right? So uh, in that way, oh, okay. or isn't he saying that the... Two things. Two the uses of the word of nature. Yeah. Means the reality of paradigm is in the very essence or the nature. That, that's using of, the other sense of nature. Mm. Good. Okay. Yeah. What are you seeing? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I was just saying. There are two that, uses. Yeah. Right. It's not nature in the world. No. It's nature. Uh, the nature of the um, paradigm. The, the nature paradigmatic of nature. Oh, I see. Okay. Just as paradigms. Nature. That's an odd way of saying it, then. These species are set up in nature. Okay, all right. Come on, more. And uh, these others are their likenesses. Well, with the, you're missing the big part. Oh, the, the self-participation? Oh. Yes. Well, there's a little bit before that where he says, assimilated to these models and are also their likenesses. Right. And then the self-participation. Now we have a new one. Okay, pick it up from there. <clears throat> and the self-participation by the other things is nothing else than to become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. How does he see the idea of the self functioning in this section? Stay with it. That assimilation is through participation on the level of self, or to the self? Ugh. Never mind, I'll keep working. Um, that's part. Okay, that's good, that's part. We need more. Is it, um, if, you, if they participate in self, then... Okay, look here, would that follow? Oh, look here, each one of them, each one of them has self connected with it, just like over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, go ahead. He's saying that by participating in that self... That which is what that must be doing while it's going on. Go yeah. Ahead. That is nothing else than to become assimilated to, 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 to the, the selves self. of the ideas. Yeah, they're not enough. Yeah, okay. I'll <laughs> leave it. Okay. <laughs> Is it saying that the self is that which is bringing it about? Like the self is causal to the participation? Yes. In likeness. Yeah. The self is what's doing something. Mm. Right. Yeah. So his idea of self mm. is doing something. What's it mm -hmm. doing? It's participating. participating. Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. The self participating by the other things is nothing else than to become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. So by the, by the self bringing about a participation, they then become like or assimilated to those paradigms which are the selves of the ideas. And that Take is it. nothing, come on, and that's nothing else than? To become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. Right. right. See what he's got? Saying, really hey, that's interesting. how the self functions in, within the soul. Right. It's not a dummy, kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how are you going to how are you going to picture that? Come on, I need help on art. Do we have anyone here who's good at art? We do. Uh, Bradley. Is oh, Brad. <laughs> how would you picture that? I I don't I don't still this last part's not. Clear to me still. Well, it's not that, written very clear. Either. Yeah, pick it up from, it's nothing, go ahead. 
It's nothing else than. Oh, it's it's nothing else than to become assimilated to the self of the ideas. Right, right. The way you paused means you didn't follow it. Go ahead. It is nothing else than to become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. That's better. <laughs> Well, this is interesting because it's saying the self-participation by the other things, That's the right. self-participation by the other things <coughs> suggests that the other ideas have a drive to participate that is a, it is the self yeah. that's driving them to participate. Yeah. And that when they participate, that's nothing else than an assimilation to the selves of the ideas. Is that not the assimilation when you, if you're doing that? That is assimilation to the self of the ideas. Right. Since the ideas, each of the ideas is connected with the idea of self. Right. So it's not merely intellectual intellecting. He's now participating. That's a sneaky way of sneaking it in sneaking there. Sneaking it in. Okay. Would you agree, sir, that you find that puzzling? Yeah, I find it interesting more than... Yeah. yeah, go ahead. What do you see interesting? Come on. Well, um, I like this and the self too. Well, he's calling them... Them. He's calling the others the likenesses mm -hmm. and what that means is that they are Stop. is there do we have grounds for assuming there must be a likeness in these ideas since no matter how they differ what's the one thing they share self right mm -hmm. so that's a likeness mm -hmm. Yes. Go ahead. All that in mind. So then, when they participate in each other, then they are becoming assimilated to that the self that they're participating in. The self of the idea. Of the idea. Don't lose that. Of the ideas. Each of the ideas has the idea of self with it. Yes. It's being assimilated to the self of the ideas. The self of the ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, you may not, right? You may not agree with it, but you understand that is what he is saying. Yeah, that's that's what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. Because if you try to understand it, I haven't tried yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if Barbara said this or not, but All right, please. I just, I just, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't mention people's All right. names. And and the self, I was reading, and the self partition participation by others. And you have to know what others means. It is nothing else than to become assimilated to the selves. And so of I'm the ideas. Uh, of the ideas. So the way to participate in the self is that you, uh, in order to participate in the self, that is you become assimilated to the selves of the ideas. Okay. Is that? Hmm. Well, you just said it. Oh, I, 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 I well, I, you may have said it. I just didn't pick it up. It just occurred to me that. So, it's not just the ideas that you're participating in, but it, that is a way to participate in self. Is how I was reading it. Well, that's a way of participating in the ideas. Right, and that, and that was where I differed. I, and the self participation by the other. Okay. The others must be the ideas, now. Right, and, and and I saw that that's uh, by participating in the others' ideas, you're participating in the self. Of the ideas. Okay, you that's where I'm missing you can't it. Drop that. Okay, that's where I'm missing it. I, well, because I, he's not saying he's not saying you're participating in this. You're participating in this self, 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 self. self. Yeah, I would, yeah. The self of the ideas. 
Okay. So if you stop at the word self, then he's talking about that. Right, that's where I stopped, but and I added a comma. No, no. No comma. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm not sure about that. But right. okay. We settled? I'll go on. All right, try it again. Okay, let's go. Next line. Therefore, if anything becomes like the ideas, like the idea, can it be possible that the idea not be like that which become that which becomes assimilated? Let me try that again. Therefore, if anything becomes like, if anything becomes like the idea, can it be possible that the idea not be like that which becomes assimilated? And by so much as the assimilated nature is rendered like self. Okay. Hmm. Or no, is there to, any reason why... It. Oh, no, no, you have to finish it. Yeah. Or is there any reason why the like cannot be like the like? But I, I just need to do that again. Therefore, if anything becomes like the idea, can it be possible that the idea not be like that which becomes assimilated? Right. That's true. Necessarily. It Necessarily. becomes assimilated if it becomes like. And the way in, and there's a degree issue. Yes. And by as much as the assimilated nature is rendered like self. Right. Or is there any reason why the like cannot be like the like? Right. And the like is the self. Is, is there any reason why the self is not assimilated and like the like? Well, it's like itself. Right. Uh, wow. Oh, I thought. Hmm. Right. Can we risk the next one for a moment? Hmm. Okay. There's not. Huh. Accordingly then, is there not a great necessity that the relationship of like to like should participate of one idea of self, of the self? Okay. Necessarily. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that follow? You go back. Right. What's he saying is like to like? Come on. All of these ideas, are they like one another? Sir? Uh, the like ideas are like one another. Yeah, number yes. one. All the ideas like them. Ah, ah, they're like one another. And can anything be like that is not like itself? No. Well, therefore he's pulling out the idea of likeness as an idea, is he not? Yes. Ah, that's how he did it. Oh, since there's a likeness among all of these ideas, then you can talk about likeness, can't you? Mm -hmm. Since there's a common theme among a class of things, you can say there is a likeness. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, back into it. And that's going to be, come on. That's going to be the participation of the one idea of, of the self. Right. All right, so now he's got another. Look here. Uh, that's his idea, likeness. Hmm. Right? And what is like? What is the thing that's like? Everything is like the like is all the self, the self right? Mm -hmm. So. Sir. Is it the self of likeness? This is the self of likeness. No, likeness is of the selves, plural. So, like, okay, so accordingly then, is there not a great necessity that the relationship of like to likeness, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should participate of one idea of the self. Right. So is right. that self the Hold it. self of life? Agree. Therefore we have to stress, as I did here, only I'll use red. We must add the idea of self to the idea of likeness. Right? He's stressing that. See, what this means is that you can make divisions in these ideas that he's calling concepts in, his, in what we would call the mind he calls the soul. Right? He makes distinctions. Right? 
and this looks like a higher one. Mm -hmm. Right, so, in that it's a, right, something they all share in yeah, common. So yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is right. that like to likeness in your translation? No, but okay. I was going to just say that the, what, yes. it, what it is actually is, do you see the Gina, the to homoion? The relationship of the like to like, oh. to the like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, both, are, both have articles. But as you know, in one lo way of looking at it, when you say the beautiful, you're talking about beauty itself. So there could be an argument made easily that when you're talking about the like, you're talking about likeness. Mm -hmm. The problem here is you have mm -hmm. two of them. No, no. Are you suggesting a change? Should we, we no, no. Okay. You were using the word likeness. I, I, I added I that. I read likeness. It wasn't yeah, in I the added NES. I, I read likeness because it had a capital L. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he also used it. Capital L will do it. Repair that? Okay. Let's proceed. Hmm. Right. Necessary. But will not that, through the participation of which, Likes, hmm, are like, be the idea, idea self? Thank you. Would that follow which from everything we've said? Yeah. Okay, all right, so then we can go for the next one. Yes, so, entirely so. Hence, neither can a partible thing be like the impartible idea. Right, or neither can something be like the, some like thing, be like the uh, impartable idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go back to the translation. Hence, neither can a partible thing be like the impartable idea, nor the idea be like the thing. For if this were not the case, neither species, neither idea or species, will always appear, sorry, another. For if that were not the case, another idea or species will also appear besides that. And that species will again become like or another or a different. And so a new species would never cease to always come to be as long as any species becomes like its participant or as long as any idea becomes like its participant. I, okay. I just think we ought to all be aware that species in this section is the word idea, right? Right, right. And right. just to keep a consistent thought process going. Yes. Okay, this is an argument that we all are familiar with we should be to think about it again. What are the marks of an infinite regress? <clears throat> right? So, look here. If you're dealing with ideas, uh, He's going to go through an. E Let's use an easier one first. Uh, this, of course, is a great tree. Agree? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Wait a minute. That's a great mountain. Hmm. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> There's something they both share. They're both great, are they not? Mm -hmm. right. So anyway, you can talk about the commonness between these two things, and they're both great, are they not? Mm -hmm. Is this idea of great that they both share the same as the particular greatness that you represent in this diagram? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, they're different, right? They're different ideas. A particular thing is great, is much different than greatness. I'm adding ness for a moment, right? But look here. Then you have the idea of great here. You have the idea of great here. So uh, there must be something they share, agree? Yeah. Oh, that must be that you need an idea of great because <laughs> that's what it is that you share, wouldn't it? By the way, um, 
Now you have one, two, three, four ideas of great. And wait a minute, are they different? Yes. Oh, if they're different, then there must be something that unites these two, must it not? Great. Oh, uh, this is different than the greatness of either of these two ideas and correspondingly to these, agree? Well then, <laughs> then we need another idea that can combine these together. <laughs> bon voyage. Right? Infinite, you keep on going, you can always run. Same thing with the idea of lifeness. Okay. Um. Socrates, it really rings Socrates' bell. Yeah, go ahead. You, you speak most truly. So if the other things do not have a share of the ideas through likeness, then it is necessary to seek after something else through which they may have a share. Right. right. Must be something else. Yep. Ah, oh, we are going to have another one. Yeah, another one. Go ahead. So it seems. Do you see then, O Socrates, how great a puzzle arises if anyone defines the ideas as being selves, by selves, according, selves according to selves? I do very much so. Hold it. Now you have to see that that conclusion follows. Because this whole argument depends upon you making distinctions amongst a bunch of selves, do you know? Mm -hmm. And they're all different? Oh, then must there not be a higher self that includes the lesser selves? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, we're going to be doing the same thing, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. Hey, these two people both have a self. Agree? Since they share in the idea of self, there's an idea of self that's different than the selves that they have, since we're talking about what they share in. Agree? Mm -hmm. So there must be another idea of self that embraces these two, but it's separate from it. By the way, wouldn't you agree we now have two classes of selves mm -hmm. and they're different? Mm -hmm. Well, when you have two things that are different in the same class, it presupposes something common, mm -hmm. which you then put a name on. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, oh, is this idea of self different from all of these? Mm -hmm. Is that all dependent on the fact that you're saying the idea, the first idea of self that is in the two is itself by itself. And so that once you say it's itself by itself, then, then each you, of them must be by itself, right. by itself, by right. itself. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. <clears throat> sure. Um, um, so how did we lose... I'm confused about where, now where do you put the idea? Where do you put it? Like, um, so you're doing this infinite regress. Okay. And then, okay, so if that's not possible, then, so we need to, so where do you put the like? Where do you put likeness itself? I'm confused about... Hold it. So you got two questions going. Go ahead. So, what, so what's the consequence for, uh, for likeness? For likeness itself. But where do you put it after, after that infinite regress? Well... Um, <clears throat> is there a likeness between these two? Yes. Each one is separate by itself? 
the, the likeness is not the same. Well, I didn't mention the word likeness. I just asked you about the souls. There's a likeness. Yeah, is there a likeness between them? Yes. And they're different? Yes. But they share something in common? Yes. Is that the idea of likeness? Do we now have to have the idea of likeness? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So likeness is necessary. Yes, for things to be like. Right. So, uh, by the way, uh, is there also the idea of self independent of the way they appear in two people? Right, I would, I would say the same thing follows for the self. Oh, then there's a likeness between these two and that idea. Agree? Can you say that again? Okay. We want to know whether we need another use of the word self and what follows if we say there's another idea of self. Okay, try it. Do each person, does each person have their own self? Um, <laughs> sure. That's the point Barbara just made. We have to talk about the self by itself. Okay, right, okay. okay. So they're different, yet they're, there's something about them that's the same. Okay, yes. Oh, is that a definition of likeness? That they share a likeness? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Say, then they both have a self, don't they, that's different? Mm -hmm. Can we not say there's an idea of self that can embrace both of their differences? Yes, the self. Oh, then there must be a likeness between these two sets of ideas, must they not? Mm -hmm. The two sets of ideas are, are likeness and the self? Well, just stay with my reasoning. Must you not assume, since these are different, are they not? One, two, three? So you have, uh, yeah, Good. one, one yeah. self and the person one, one self and the person two, and then the self, the idea of self apart, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. By the way, must there not be an idea of likeness between these different ideas right. of self? Yes. Oh, so then we need another idea of life, don't we? Right. This idea of likeness includes. Okay, it's a different kind of likeness. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 And by the way. Uh, but those both like the, the both of those likenesses still come from likeness itself, right? Well, we're going to keep on going. We're just starting. <laughs> okay. By the way. Um, <clears throat> Mustn't we have another idea of self that must embrace the, the since there's something common among these three? Agree? Because that's how we got this one. So how can we avoid saying there must be another one that embraces those? Yes? Yes or no? But how can we avoid it? Yeah, how can we avoid okay. it? Okay. By the way, is there not a likeness between these I different ideas of self? Each one of these, what we're calling like, is different, isn't it? So the first like is between these two. Mm -hmm. The second likeness is between these two and this one. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Then the third one is we find that there's a likeness among these. Uh, can I keep on going? No, I think so. I guess I'm a, so then. <clears throat> Parmenides is pushing the implications of Socrates' logos and it's a reductio ad absurdum. Or you could say Parmenides is showing Socrates by drawing out his answers what he really thinks that he hasn't come to himself but through his agency and help He's letting him know what he really thinks and the consequences of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's happened, therefore, all of these arguments are absurd. Mm -hmm. Therefore, what's he doing with Socrates' ideas? Purging. Right. Catharsis, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, it's cathartic, right? Yeah. It's the first 
I mean, is this where you guys were talking about the two functions of the logos on the lower first, like, let's say, in the realm of, like, half of logos to uh, get into the false beliefs and then, like, sort of the higher pedagogic function? Okay. That's, that's a joke. Properly putting names on yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But that, that means this is a purging. Right? This is a purging of Socrates' false notion. That's why, that's why Proclus calls this process midwifery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he's midwifing him of his false ideas. Mm. Okay? All right? Shall we go? Now then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now then, know well that thou dost not yet grasp how great the puzzle is of self, as the saying goes, if thou should place each one idea of the real beings as always being something that is separated or set apart. So that's the mistake he made. He's saying, hey, this is a mistake you're making. Yeah. What did he just say? That this picture is false. Yes. These are not separate and distinct. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are, then must, are you oh. saying there's... You yeah. mean from each other? From each other, right? Hmm. Because w w wouldn't you say they are separate and distinct in, in terms of man? No? They're just separate and distinct. Each one is separate and distinct. Say. So, um, do you agree that there's a difference between uh, justice and goodness? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. I, I'm not clear on that. But you're not. You're not clear on no. that. No. <laughs> wait a minute. Um, justice and goodness. Wait a minute. Um, have you ever experienced uh, justice? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. One thing you could say about it, it's not good. No. no, no. <laughs> what? It was good. No kidding. Yeah. There's a relation between them. Yes. Well, then oh. they're not separate and distinct, are they? Right. Oh. Oh, by the way, things that are just is one thing you can always say about them. They're all ugly, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, they're not beautiful. There's no beauty in it. Agree? <clears throat> I get all, I get that, yeah. <laughs> but 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 separate and distinct from us? No, from one another. I know, but would you say separate and distinct from man or here? I don't need that though. Okay. We're just talking about ideas. Oh, okay. But the soul yeah. right, the soul doesn't right away grasp, behold, the, the, unificate, the unity behind justice, being, uh, justice, beauty, and goodness. Uh, unless you're unusual. By the way, are you unusual? Yes. I think, I just just came, that I think you just came to that. <laughs> okay. Is that right or am I wrong? Yeah. yeah. Uh, did, did you just come to that? Yeah. What you don't think is possible? Let's call him a name. No, because when he is focused on justice, it's justice. And when he's focused on goodness, it's goodness. And when he's focused on beauty, it's beauty. But we didn't ask that. We asked, it. go ahead, you finish it. Now, are those things separate and distinct? No, but as a soul functioning, uh, it has to go through them each individually first to get to the unification of them. But each one, if it has a unification, you're only talking about each idea having a unity. That's true. But that's not the issue, whether or not each idea has a unity about it. I'll agree with you, it does. How does that relate to the issue we're on, though? Okay, so if you're reflecting, so if a person is beholding justice, mm -hmm. okay, your, your position is that they're necessarily going to be holding beauty and goodness at the same time. I have good evidence for it. I got it from yeah. this guy. I got it from this guy. 
Yeah. Right? Evidence, yes. yes, See? yes, yes. Evidence. <laughs> and while the soul is reflecting upon justice, it is by what? By it is necessarily what? Not 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 uh, what's the word? Not implicitly, but explicitly contemplating both beauty and goodness as well. Then how would you like Pardon me. No. Well then then that's my point. Why? I just agree I just agree with you. Why is that your point? Well then I think you agree with me, but I was disagreeing no, with no. you. They can still be, they can still talk about them as separate. The question is, is there a relation between them? Yes. And is the nece is the connection between them necessary? Yes. Sure, you can still talk about them as separate, but he's making the point separate and distinct. No contact. Okay. Right. right. Okay. And I guess what I thought Bradley was reflecting upon and, and trying to, uh, well, he brought up a question, my question, which is like, so like, I, I mean, like the soul, uh, like, okay, so how does this fit with like, you know, there, you can make distinctions but you can't make separations. That's right. Differences are different than distinctions. Right. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, I, now I agree. Hey, so look here. Not, look here. Sure. Watch. Hey, mm -hmm. that's the top. This is the bottom. That's a distinction, right? Mm -hmm. What happened to it? Well, it's gone. It's still the top. Right. Why well, not? We can make distinctions, can't we? Right? right? But these two are different, aren't they? No matter yeah. how I turn them, does it make any difference? They still remain what they are, aren't they? Yes. That's a difference. Distinction is in making, you're making a distinction about this. Okay. So then, I guess, so like, I would say then, like, the soul would be this distincting justice or distincting goodness or distincting beauty itself. Uh, but if if it would if they actually thought it could try to separate them, that would be a foolish issue. Okay. All right? Okay. I presume we're together? No, okay. All right? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Then <laughs> 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 on the one hand. There are many other puzzles indeed, but on the other hand, the following one is the greatest. If anyone should say that the idea itself cannot even be properly known, being such as we have said they must be, it could not even be pro proven to anyone that he is mistaken. If it were not the case, on the one hand, that he who argues that it could be proven happened to be experienced or practiced in a multitude of particulars and who is not without natural talent. And on the other hand, he should also be willing to follow the proof through many long and elaborate details. But even then, he who contends that the ideas selves are unknowable may still remain unpersuaded. Hmm. Hey. What point is he making now? He's now making a point about, hey, none of these is now talking about this. The self. Right? Hmm. Not, the idea, not the ideas that are connected with these other ideas, but the ideal self, the self that is above all of them. Right? You're saying, hey, no. Oh. 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 Is it not possible that you may meet someone who might say, well, it's a nice discussion, and you've said a lot, but you know what? I don't believe you can ever really know the self. I can follow what you're, I can follow this reasoning, but you know what? The springs and principles are locked up. Right. <laughs> Are, are you talking particularly about that last line? Yes. He who contends that 
the selves are unknowable? No. Okay. Yeah, and uh, idea, sel idea selves is one's uh, understanding of the paragraph, but I think we also should know that idea is not in that particular sentence, although it may in fact refer back. Which one you're talking about? Because oh. the idea of self is is there. Well, I was talking about Adam. or self idea. We could in call the, it. In yeah, the first ahead. the first time it's mentioned, if anyone should say the idea self cannot be properly known, yes, that is idea self, right? I was mm -hmm. talking about the last one. Okay, go ahead. Because you went from idea self to self. Mm -hmm. Although maybe you you meant idea self in both cases. On the one hand, there are many other puzzles in here. If anyone should say the idea selves cannot even be properly known, being such as we have said they must be, it could not even be proven to anyone that he's mistaken. If it were not the case, on the one hand, that he who argues that it could be proven happened to be experienced or practiced in a multitude of particulars, and he who is and who is not without natural talent. On the other hand, he should also be willing to follow the proof through many long and elaborate details. But even that he who contends that the cell, the he who intends that selves are unknowable may still remain unpersuaded. So I was just pointing out here that in the beginning it is idea self, but at the end, in that last sentence, it's only selves are unknowable. Yes. So, because yes. I thought that was what you said. Yes. And that's why I said you, you have reference to this, right? Yes. Yeah, I was just checking to see. Right, yes, yes, yes. So we move from idea of self to self. Yeah. So to we self. stepped out of we stepped out of within himself. Yes. Where? Right? So you, say, hey, you know what? Days. All of this talk, you know what? Fundamentally, you can't know the self. Mm-hmm. You say, hey, you know what? If you ever meet someone like that, I got news for you. What does he say? Right. <laughs> It's not going to be persuasive unless they meet they meet someone of a certain yeah. right experienced in a multitude natural talent mm -hmm. and willing to follow the that the other is willing to follow the proof through long and elaborate details. Right. Is he also saying that that's a consequence of Socrates's reasoning? Like, is he still drawing out Socrates's conclusion? Like, the Socrates says, "What do you mean?" After he just tells him what his problem is, right? Like. Um, no, says, I don't think so. This is what will arise if you no, hold I, this idea. Uh, no, uh, to answer you, no. Oh, okay. So he's not going to show Socrates how, like this looks like a setup to the master argument. Yes, that's right. Uh, well, Socrates asks, what do you mean in reference to uh, Parmenides diagnosing his view? All of what we said follows if you hold this idea that the selves are separate and distinct. Mm -hmm. And then he asks them, what do you mean? And this is the answer he gets? I guess I'm confused as to how they link. I see. The question is, what are we going to call the idea of self or the ideal self? Mm -hmm. And is that separate from the self? Right? If it ends up with a discussion about the self, Socrates has not mentioned that in his thinking. Even though he is brought to see that you must assume self, but whether it's knowable or not is never discussed until he gets at this point. So therefore, no, it doesn't fit logically in what has been developed. It's a jump. But it's a nice one. Sure. Okay. Now look here. What does this do? Hmm. Knock Socrates out of following the hypotheses. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. This is a setup, as you're quite quite correct in pointing out, that necessarily leads to the idea of the master argument, mm. master-slave argument, yeah. right? I was being a smart mouth about something else, yeah. so ignore me. Is it, is it also going to be that 
Well, is he suggesting that certain positions that Socrates might be holding would render him unable to be as good of a respondent in the hypotheses as, as Aristotle is? Okay, as, that was the second one. As Aristotle is, right. 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 Uh, I have a sure. What what is what's wrong with um, the self? If I understand that the self encapsulating all the various ideas, nothing's wrong with it. You're just including in your idea of self all of those ideas. No, you can do that. He did that. Oh, by the way, can you equally talk about just the self by itself? Yes. Oh, oh. Would they be different things to talk about? Yes. Oh, suppose someone didn't believe you could ever know the self. Mm-hmm. You'd never be convinced. Mm-hmm. Never. Con- then never you can, yeah. Unless he was fortunate enough to meet someone who had the following qualities and could take him through all of this. But it seems like in here, right, that doesn't it have the appearance that Parmenides sees a problem with that? Or an issue? With Yes, yes or no. Remember, he... That's the problem, that he's not making the distinction... Sorry, I can't go, but... Um, I think the way you're putting it, uh, are these the arguments one can assume Socrates assumes to be true, that Parmenides is drawing from him step by step? Mm -hmm. Because this last one doesn't follow all of the thinking that came before, he's hitting him with the highest one right Mm -hmm. away. Hey, let's stop for a moment, okay. Mm -hmm. You assumed the idea of self before, suppose someone were to say, Hey, no way can that be known. Mm-hmm. So he's going back to the earliest point, bringing it out and saying, Hey, you know this idea of self you mentioned before? Suppose someone came along and said, It's unknowable. So, what is Socrates' answer to that? Read it for us. In what way then, O In a way that I think both thou and any other person, O Socrates, who would set up the usia of each idea mm-hmm. as subsisting itself by self, mm-hmm. you must agree in the first place that none of the idea selves or the selves it subsist in us. One more time. In a way that I think both thou and any other person, O Socrates, who would set up the usia of each idea as subsisting self by self. You must agree in the first place that none of the idea selves subsist in us. Right. Right. Mm. For if they did, then how could their usia still subsist herself by herself? You speak well. So he sneaks back to the earlier point that we wrote here, and it seemed nothing that special about it. He recalls it mm-hmm. and makes these conclusions about it. Mm. That's coming. Yeah. Oh, that's coming, yes. Preview of coming attractions? Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, you speak well. Is it not also the case that of the ideas that exist in relation to each other, however many they are, maintain their self usia in relation to selves, but not in relation to those existing among us. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, hey. They may exist, but they are not in us. Yep. Or among us. Or among us, yes. Go ahead. Whether in relation to certain likenesses or in whatever way one may set selves up, and we do participate of each and every self to which we apply some particular name. But on the other hand, that those beings that exist among us bear the same name as those, 
and again selves also exist in relation to ourselves, but not in relation to those ideas. And again selves in relation to themselves, but not in relation to those with whom they only they thus only share their name. Okay, same question. How many points is he making? Mm. Right? How many points? Go from the beginning. Name them, number them. Mm. Right? Take a moment out. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, this assumes something that we don't agree with or that we don't think about, okay? So, hold what you're reading and read the following comment by Parmenides and Socrates, okay? Come on. You mean the Lord and Master one? <clears throat> well, um, Socrates wants to know what it means, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you have to know what he's talking about with the use of the word usia, mm -hmm. right? That's a word we don't use, it, right? We incorporate it from the Greek. <coughs> mm -hmm. Reversion upon the self. Turning about. If it's anagogic, I think it's the same as turning about. If turning about is anagogic, a level rise. We're just talking about, we're having a side conversation <laughs> about Usia and whether it's the same. He said being, I said reversion. Right. And he said, uh, is that the same as turning about. turning about? And I said, if turning about is upon a higher. Or anagogic, or yes. self-reflective. Yes. Yeah. See. Um, um, My brother in the Dharma over there. See the, um, um, this is the. This is the. This is what he's talking about. That's his view. That's the Platonic view. Mm. And therefore, you have to add something to it. Right? Usia. Mm. Right? You have to add Usia to our diagram, don't you? Mm. Where must it belong? Come on. Where must it belong? Well, they maintain their self usia in relation to self, right? But not in relation to yeah. So that's going on here, not among us. Um, He's saying what's going on among us is different than what's going on up here. Mm. Then each of these ideas 
must have a dynamic turning upon themselves. Oh, well, wow. Uh, by the way, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's just in the beginning to get hard to see. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because um, he's using Socrates' view of these people. Mm. Mm. And he's saying, therefore, the Usia, which is operating here, each one of these ideas is dynamic, it turns upon itself. So if each is a state of mind, then the whole thing is reversive. Reverse is continuously turning upon itself mm. and showing itself in a variety but same way. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, that doesn't occur down here among us. <laughs> in Socrates' viewpoint. Right? He's got plebes down there. That Socrates is he's saying, you know what? This is this is you. No connection. You can't. You can't bridge the gap. That's a shame. Per particularly with likeness, right? Though. Well, you see, he's that Socrates' view. Yeah. That's what this view is. That is to say, he is. He's among people who hold that view. And he's one of them. And he's one of them. That's right. Maybe we can go further. Okay, hold it. Hold it for you. Sorry, I gave you. I was trying to give you. A would choice. you say that this okay. this whole argument is is refuting likeness, the idea of likeness between the, that and that, the the people of Andalusia, or beauty and beautiful things? My voice. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Look here. Um, <clears throat> is it likely that um, these people have the idea of beauty when they look at a variety of things yes. and they find something common among the things they call beautiful? Yes. By the way, what's the relationship between that idea of beauty and and the nature of ultimate reality is beautiful. Right. Is there a difference? Yes. A little? A lot. How much? Is one the shadow of the other? Yes. Oh. See, when he, now you can you still use the word lifeness mm. and, right, between the things that are greatly different since they're in the same class. But, but is Parmenides refuting likeness as that <coughs> participation in this argument? Well, no, no, you can still have the idea of likeness. He escaped, he wants, okay. There's a problem with the idea of likeness being an infinite regress. Right. right that, like there's only one way to avoid the, the infinite regress. Look here. Take the idea of great. They are both great, would you not agree? Yes. Oh, you can get the idea of, the idea of great includes them? No, it doesn't. The word should be greatness. Therefore, it's not the same. Therefore, you cannot have an infinite regress of things that are different. So, no, he's not. But he, he kept that in his back pocket because he's arguing with Socrates and that's what he thinks. So in the same way, you can still talk about these having a likeness, mm -hmm. but the likeness among these things, watch now, is it the same as the likeness that people experience when they talk about beauty and their experience? No. Different idea of likeness? Yes. Yet the same word. Therefore, it's a great difference between the two, is it not? Yes. Oh. Now say the same thing you said before. What difference does that make? 
he's more he's just midwife in Socrates, he, right? Uh, he's not refuting likeness. No. He's drawing out Socrates's position implications. No. no. Yeah, we just cut out the infinite regress. Yeah. Because all you need is the word ness after what any one of these categories and it does away with the infinite regress. Is that I never saw that the I never saw the uh, likeness functioning on both levels, right? That's Good. Good. So yeah, vastly different, aren't yeah. they? Time's up. Let's huh? have coffee. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We come back to the master argument next time, right? Okie dokie. Artichoke. Let's have a cup. Ten, ten minute break or so. Hey, cool. remember, what you're doing is seeing whether or not your reasoning can follow their reasoning. You may still have reservations about any step along this, which you can talk about, but at least you can say you're following the logic of it. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay.